Plus, fertility rates are down, so why are couples choosing to hold off on having children? This is News 10 at 9. Sleep? Maybe? <laughs> Too tired. They want sleep? Uh, who knows? Just, just money? Sleep. Maybe? Yeah, good morning to you. It's Wednesday. It's July 9th. I'm Dan Elliott. And I'm Kiba Arnold here with Jeff Mar. Good morning to you, Jeff. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. Hey, Rob, Almost there. Almost there. Rob Carmar, good morning to you. Good morning. You're scaring me with the kids, so they cost <laughs> a lot of money, no sleep. What else am I looking forward to? Patience. You have to really step that up. You lose all control. It's all in their hands. So I've heard. Can't yeah. go to a movie theater. Can't do you that. Can't Take them Restaurant. on airplane. You have to eat real fast because you only have a few minutes. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. But it's the greatest okay. thing in the world. Right. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's the greatest that's thing. Always so happens. Yeah, it's the greatest thing. <laughs> Way to wrap it up yeah. there, Dan. More and more couples seem to be choosing to hold off when it comes to having kids. Yes. Fertility rates are down all across the country, and researchers have an idea on why this is happening. Jeff Marr, did you have the same idea, or did you read <laughs> up on this? Uh, I had an idea. Okay. Yeah, and you know, parents are probably realizing this with their children, and the children in their 20s and 30s are probably realizing it amongst their friends, that if they don't have kids, they're not alone in their circle of friends. When they go back to their high school reunions, they probably notice that, huh, okay, some of my friends still don't have children yet, they're married. So what's the world going to look like if the fertility rate continues to drop, which it is? Could it become like the movie I Am Legend? Will Smith roaming around New York City by himself with his faithful dog talking to mannequins. Or will you see more cases like this? Rajo Devi from India gave birth at age 70 to a baby girl. Now, those are some extreme examples, but the rate is dropping. This is a chart that was put together by the World Bank, and you can see starting in 1960, the average woman had five children every single year that has declined up to 2010, which was three years ago, where the average woman is giving birth to 2.45 births. And that has likely dropped since then. Now, Canada has fallen to 1.61 children per woman in 2011. One researcher says this is a long-term concern as the baby boomers retire. We're not going to have enough people coming into the workforce to pay taxes to support our social safety net. And let's look at the average age of a woman giving birth to her first child. That's actually going up. In the US, it's now at age 25. In 1970, it was 21. So that has gone up four years since 1970. In Japan, it's at 29. In the UK, that number has now hit 30. Average woman in the UK holding off until age 30 and above to have her first child. So what is causing this? Well, the number one reason that researchers point to is the economy, that more moms and dads and married couples are looking at dollar signs when it comes to having children more so than anything else. They're thinking, what if I lose my job? What's going to happen to my family? What about college tuition? It's at an all-time high already. Students already have $1 trillion collectively in debt across the nation. So what's it gonna be like 18 years from now? That's uh, what they're thinking. Also, Hollywood is to blame. Oh, when blame you go, Hollywood oh, for everything. What? Yeah, when yeah. you go to the grocery <laughs> store and you see these magazines and you see pictures like this of Halle Berry, who is pregnant at age 46. A lot of people are thinking, oh, okay, can wait. I can wait. Right. She looks beautiful. Yeah. She's uh, gonna make it happen. But oftentimes these actresses don't mention the donor eggs and the surrogate wombs. Details, details. The details. And the money, right? All the money it costs Gee. to do that when you wait too late. Yeah, yeah it, that actually, yes, it, that can be very costly in more ways than one. Yeah, well, you mentioned in UK, the average age of uh, first time mothers 30, and I looked it up to see how old Kate Middleton is. 31 years, because wow. she's about to give birth, so she's yeah. very average in that respect. Right, when yeah. you think, you know, by the time my mom was my age, she'd already had us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm way behind. You and I'm I I'm way both, behind, Jeff. no, no, my, my mom was 24 when she had me. My brother's three years older, she was 21 when she had my brother. Slackers. Yeah. Jeez, get to work, you two. I know. I think another factor might be that people in their 20s and 30s are thinking, I'm going to live a lot longer mm. than my parents, and I have a lot more time to do it. But I think it does go back to the economy. They still think it's unstable. 
uh, with their jobs and many other. But factors. you know what? And, and I remember my mom telling me this: if you wait till when you can afford a child, you'll you never know, have never one. Have and one. she's right. Yeah. You right. know, by the time you can, you. I think you feel uh, maybe Jeff, you can agree. You feel like 30s are like the new 20s. Like you're, you don't you feel. You keep extending you it. You feel like you still have time. You keep extending it. Yeah. Eventually, 60s will be the new 30s. <laughs> right. I think eventually you just have to to take the plunge and and no. you know what? What we need it. is is a new <laughs> app that deals with all this. If we can come up. <laughs> Right. With an app, you know, plan then it all out it'll all us. be better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Sure. Well, who has an <laughs> iPad here? Quick poll. Yep. You guys have iPads? Mm -hmm. Not much competition with iPad, no. right? Did you consider any other products? Nope. No, not no. at all. Nope. Well, Windows 8 is coming on strong. Take a look at this new ad. This kid's got great stuff. How many strikeouts this season? Um, I gotta switch apps. Hold on. What's this kid's ERA? 173. How about against lefties? 288. Well, what's going on? I can hear you, but the video stopped. I just have to switch back. I think we got to pull the trigger on this kid. All right, I'll go talk to his agent. Mo, how are we looking? Um, I think he's in talks with another team. I like that. Good yeah. Ad. I hope the audio is that great. Well, that's one of the new features, though, being able to do multiple things at once yeah. easily. Okay. Yeah. Well, Jeff's because, like, okay. But because you guys just get bored with only right. one app at a time. Right. I mean, right. you've got, got to have, have four or five going. Switch back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, yeah. video conferencing, that looks cool. It I'm does. excited for that. Uh, we're going to end on this. This comes out of Dublin, where people are very happy there, including a taxi driver who is doing a bit of an impromptu dance when he hears a very catchy song. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I just know that this woman brings the taxi driver out of the car. They start oh, doing a little move. impromptu yeah. dance. I'm assuming this is impromptu well, and not stage. Well, he was doing well until that little part. Anyway. Well, in a second here, you see him get a little handsy with this woman that oh. he apparently just met. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> get out of there. Don't just bring people place. together. <laughs> That's the man seizing the opportunity. Huh? Hey, everyone's happy, right? Love to ride in his cab. Hugs all the way around. I don't know. Do you think he keeps his hands on the wheel? Melissa Crowley would be very upset. He's probably not in that 10 and 2 position. <laughs> I'm wondering what, like, what's going on here. Dancing Some great, but you're not party? getting anywhere in that cab. No. No. Oh, yeah, you're done. Yeah. Come on. Is this suppose we could call it an Irish jig? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Definitely. Modern yeah. twist. Think things have changed over there. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Things haven't changed here. We've got more news coming your way an hour from now. Come on back for News 10 at 9. The View is up next. Elizabeth Hasselbeck's final show. News 10 is everywhere you want to be.